This weekend is the annual Great Chowder Cook-Off in Newport, where gallons upon gallons of chowder will be available for people to sample and then vote for their favorites. But did you ever wonder just how they get all those clams prepared and ready for this big event? Mary joins us live once again from Newport with a shucking demo. Mary. Good morning. Well, that's right. Shucking demo is definitely on my to-do list because whenever I cook clams, they just open up when they're cooked. But I've never shucked. So if you're like me and you have a fear of shucking these buddies open, never fear. Steven DiPietro from Stefano's Seafood Restaurant is joining us. And you have come a long way, haven't you? Yes, I have. Six and a half hours drive up here well, from welcome. Long Beach Island, New Jersey. Fantastic. Well, we're glad to have you. Now, tell us, you have two different varieties of clams here. Yes. On the right-hand side here are chowder clams. And you only use them for chowder. Mm -hmm. You shuck them, and then you chop them, and you add them to your chowder. And these are little neck clams. They're a little smaller than you can use, but these are really nice and tender. And I'll show you how you open up those. Awesome. So what do people? What tools do people need, aside from clams, of course? Besides the clams, <laughs> you've got to have them. Kind of hard without those. A good clam knife. This is a good clam knife right here. It's nice and thin all the way down, mm -hmm. and it has a nice leading edge, and it's nice and sharp. Can okay. people use other knives, or should they really go out and get a clam you knife? You could, but see, something like this has that pointy edge, and mm -hmm. you don't want to, you know, poke yourself. Ideally, yeah, you kind of want to stay clear and from the other, that. The thick ones are really hard to open. They're really hard to get through the front part of the shell, and you want to get through the front part of the shell, All right. not through the back of the shell. That would be super okay. hard. So, so show us what we, what we need to do. So the first preparation is that you don't want to move the clams around a lot. You want to keep them nice and quiet like this and on ice, and it'll keep them nice and um, easily opened. You got to make it really cold. The colder, the better. Okay. But you don't want to put them in the freezer. Don't want to put them in the freezer, <laughs> no. I don't know whose idea that was. That was mine. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to take the clam like this, and you'll see the shape of the clam like this. And you want to put it in your hand like this. And then you take the knife like this, and then you just pull in there. See like that? Pull in, and then you use your thumb and try to scrape along the top. So now the top comes out like this, and you have all the clam right there. Nice clean shell on the top. Wow. And then go along the bottom like that. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Do another one for it. Another one. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> I know, that's going to last. Right through there. Yep. Pull through, along the top, down, and over. Now, Just what do like people that. need to be careful of while they're shucking for our novice shuckers? For novice shuckers, you know, if they're really difficult to open, what you can do is take the back of them like this, take your knife again, and go like that and open them up. Okay. And then bring it across the front here. How about with these big guys? The big guys, same thing. It just takes a little more muscle. All right, show me. Use that bicep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you to work, Steven. The bicep for the bivalve. You need to you trademark like that. that. Yeah. yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> so I, you just saw me do it. It wasn't really that difficult because these clams are pretty cold. But you see all the meat in there, and you want to scrape that meat off of there. And then if you're really just shucking them, you want to just shuck them into a pan like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there you go. Awesome. And then you chop them up. Now, and why you do you like to have it cold? Cold? Because they're easier to open. It's just e Okay. Yeah. That just open sort of easier, like the winter time, you know, when it's cold out, you know, it's yeah. easier. Uh, and you just put them in a pan like that, and then you keep all these juices. If you're making chowder, mm -hmm. you want to keep all that juice. Awesome. So you want to keep it, and then you just put it in a tall glass, mm -hmm. and then all the sand will be down on the bottom. You take the three quarters of the top, and that's all your clam juice. Your awesome. real, authentic clam juice. We're going to be taking that clam juice and these pieces of clam, because we're going to be trying out Stephen's chowder in just a little bit. For now, back to you.